Hey friends, welcome back to the show. And today's video is the first of a series and a new playlist that I'm putting together over the next several weeks called Rustic Country Comfort Cooking. Now the first recipe that we're gonna be making in this series is an old time recipe. Back when my grandma used to make this and we used to go to her house and maybe on a Sunday or so, you walk in the house and it smell, oh, your stomach start growling and everything. We're gonna be making some famous 15 bean soup ham beans and I'll tell you what if you ain't ever had it you're missing out let's get started now not only is this going to be a delectable comfort dinner that we're about to make it's also extremely affordable this packet of 15 bean soup cost me a dollar let me tell you what kind of beans are located inside this packet this packet includes the 15 varieties of beans they are northern pinto large lima yellow eye bean garbanzo baby lima green split pea, kidney, cranberry bean, small white, pink bean, small red, yellow split pea, lentil, navy, white kidney, and black beans. Now I can already hear it in the comments. Tim, that's one gassy meal. You're gonna be farting all day. Yeah, if you just put it together like it is, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the package. It does have a seasoning packet in there. We're gonna dump it into a large bowl. All right, let's go ahead and carefully open up this bag of 15 bean soup. We don't want to knock it all over the place. Inside is a flavor packet, as you can see. See that? Ham flavor. And we're going to go ahead and dump it into this large Tupperware bowl. Just like that. Ooh, yummy. Look at that variety. Uncooked, unprocessed. The way Grandma used to make it. Now we're going to dump eight cups of water inside of here, cover it up, and let it sit overnight. Now I misspoke when I said that we're going to cover this up overnight. We don't want to do that. The whole reason behind us putting this water in here with the beans and stuff, and it's going to sit up overnight, is it's going to release all the gases from those beans, or at least 90% of them. That way we won't have flagellants for the week but there's enough food here after we make this meal. Well, I'm gonna be able to eat on that thing all week long. So we will not be covering these beans up or putting them in the refrigerator. They're gonna simply sit and soak in this water overnight on the countertop. They're going to allow it to emit all the gases out of that beans and it's not gonna make the beans mushy, trust me. I will see you guys tomorrow and we will put together the rest of this tasty, delicious recipe called ham beans. That looks like another rainy day. Morning, everybody. Uh, well, we need to check on those beans, but first of all, I gotta get some coffee and get my morning stuff done up. I'll be right with you. Wow, look how much those beans plumped up overnight. Oh, yeah. Now what we're going to have to do is dump this out into a strainer and rinse all these beans off as soon as we can and then we'll get started on the ham beans. Now what my original plan was is to be able to make this soup, this ham bean soup, outside in a Dutch oven and a slow simmer and stuff. But the weather obviously has won this round so we are going to be resorting to our good old slow cooker crock pot. All right, let's get those beans inside the slow cooker. Oh, look at that. Next thing I want to put inside here for a stock, uh, you can either use water, recommended about eight cups, or anything else. In this case, I'm going to be using unsalted beef broth. We're going to dump that in nice and generously. Remember, this is going to be a soup. coffee now one of the things I generally like putting in with this type of recipe are ham hocks now, I was out all over the place yesterday even to a local butcher and nobody had ham hocks that's okay we've got other recipes let's start building this meal our next thing we're gonna add is one small diced onion now if you all know me I'm really not into onions but in this case with this kind of a meal that's gonna cook 
for the day, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to be using a bag of diced ham. See that? Oh yes. Now at this point in the game, you put whatever kind of meat, chicken, hamburger, whatever. We've got one other meat that we're going to add to this whole mix. Also some smoked beef sausage. Oh yes. Remember this is going to be a meal we're going to be eating on all week long. Got a couple more small things. We're going to stir it up and we're going to put it on a high for six hours. All right, I'm going to add some garlic powder. Now you can put some regular garlic cloves on here. Also some chili powder. Not going to add any salt or pepper. That's going to be for the final deal and you can add that to taste. All righty. All right, let's get all that goodness mixed up in there. Oh my goodness. It's busting out of the pot. Oh yes. All right, well that's six hours of set it and forget it in the old slow cooker crock pot. We got some other ingredients we're gonna add later on in the cook, but in the meantime, I got some chores to do. I'll catch up to you in a little while. Well, we are back and we're about halfway through the cook time on our ham beans. I had run out and go take care of a few chores and check on the boat and stuff, but now we're back. Let's take a look in on that tasty looking meal. Oh my goodness, if you could smell this right now, holy cow, look at all that hearty goodness. The rustic country comfort cooking known as ham beans. I'm going to go a couple more hours and we're going to add our last few ingredients to this and then we're going to try this baby out. Mm. Well hey, the rain has finally stopped and started to clear up and it's going to get chilly this evening and all that good stuff. We're getting right here real soon to put our last few ingredients in for the final stage of the cook. But first of all, we got something else happening outside. I got my little makeshift brick charcoal pit here with my small Dutch oven. We're getting this thing heated up. We've pre-greased it and we're going to be making some cornbread to go along with those hand beans. All right, time to whip together a little bit of uh, cornbread. I have a single egg, just like that, with our mix and a third a cup of milk. We're going to mix that around to get it all nice and ready to go. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this. Let's check in on this. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. I got two more things we're gonna real quick put in here. Um, diced tomatoes, but not just any old diced tomatoes. We have some Rotel Mild. We're gonna throw in there with it, just like that. As well as the original little flavor packet that came with the 15 bean soup. Let's get that all in there nicely. Now everything in this recipe for the most part is very low sodium. Go ahead and we'll get this all mixed in. So in this last hour of the cook, we're gonna be rocking and rolling. Ooh, I almost forgot. The final touch, the secret ingredient, fresh juice from one squeezed lemon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the time has arrived for us to taste test. We're not gonna make a big bowl because it's not dinner time yet, but look at that goodness. Let's plate up a little bit in a bowl here and give this baby a try. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Wow, you have no idea. You wish you were here right now. This is authentic, rustic country style cooking at its best, ham beans. And there's very, very little sodium in here. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't add any salt or pepper. That's for taste afterwards. Let's give it a try with our homemade honey flavored cornbread. Let's cut off a little spit on this cornbread. Not much. We don't want to get over full because dinner ain't for about another three hours. We're just taste testing this. Oh, that looks like a perfect piece right there. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now on to the soup. Look at all the stuff and goodies inside of there. This is straight up Southern style cooking ham bean soup. Oh, we need to get this in our mouth right now. 
Mmm. Wow. Those beans are still a little tiny bit firm. That's exactly the way you want them. You don't want to be biting down a bunch of mushy garbage or anything like that. Look at that little piece of smoked sausage. Mmm. Unbelievable. Let's try a bite of that cornbread too. Mmm. So good. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's about as hearty as you can get. Nothing's overpowering on here. We didn't add any salt or anything. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to it. Not much, just enough for flavor. Now you can do whatever you want with this. You can add hot sauce, whatever floats your boat. But I recommend strongly if you're gonna make this simple little set it and forget it meal for the day, is to go ahead and give it a try without all those seasonings before you load it up with a bunch of salt and other stuff. Look at all the goodies, how hearty that meal is. See that little bit of sausage on there, the diced ham, rotel, all those different beans and stuff. Absolutely perfect. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let me tell you something about this meal. There's enough of this food to eat on all week long. And the price tag for all this, just under $15. <laughs> wow, this stuff is really addictive. I have to watch myself. I eat myself sick. I'm just sampling this for now. And I'm going to be eating on this all week long. Rustic Country Comfort Cooking. Mm. So good. <laughs> mm. Last bite. Mmm. Wow, I can't wait to eat dinner later. Holy smokes. Wow, that's so good. I can't wait to get my gut busted later. <laughs> very, very tasty, very comforting, very rustic, hearty meal. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to be eating on this thing easily all week long. And you notice that I soaked those beans overnight. That's going to help with the digestion and keep us from having a sneaky home and all that good stuff. Join me next week as we come out with a brand new episode of Rustic Country Comfort Cooking. Till next time, I'll see you then.